So Solus is the challenge for this week. For those who don't know, if you're living under a rock, um, Biddle Community has a weekly hangout show where um, you check out various distributions and other conversations of topic and banter, and it's a lot of fun. Um, every Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern, it's about two hours, and um, sometimes I go a little over, and then sometimes I go even a little more over if you're part of the uh, the Zoom chat after show. A lot of fun, um, and uh, great community, and part of the distro challenge for this week, they pretty much talk about a uh, distro of choice for about a week or two, and come together and, you know, Share some of the highlights, the ups and downs, and this week, it's Solus. And so, um, I'm kind of taking a uh, interesting little path of just checking out what's the user experience of getting to the website and navigating the website and checking it out. Um, so, when you do Solus OS... It does come up first. Go here. And I love the the bright blues. I said in the last video, I like the blues and whites. Uh, I think it's just uh, always a, a safe win. They're announcing 4.1. The bottom here. Let's just get out of here. Um... And again, traditional ribbon meant the type of style of, you know, blocks here, ready to go. Um, and interesting placement of here being left justified and then a bunch of links here, but nothing crazy. So I learn more. Personal OS for personal computers. Update forever. And you get some the background the team technologies. It's for developers, for content creators, for gamers. And so this is one of those things where it's like, if you're for everybody, you're for no one. So um, at least that's some of the critique. If you say like, oh, this is a general purpose distribution, then it's kind of hard to make a unique value proposition. Um, so, the, you know, but it does, I mean, in terms of, Communicating what you can do with it. It does the job. You can pretty much do anything you need. Um, it's just that, again, if you're trying to build a unique value proposition, it's kind of hard to do that when you can do everything. Uh, I do like the little the thin ribbons here. Bright, dark, bright, dark. Nice. Go back to the home page. I want to download it. Um, install a update forever. Simply choose an addition. And um, nice little screenshots of the environment. Now, it would be nice if you could uh, click on it and get zoom in to see what these will look like. Because I don't know what this means. If I'm new to this stuff, um, it's kind of hard to make sense of like what, what things are, you know, um, and I guess it depends on who they're targeting, you know, soulless budgie, luxurious, luxurious, uh, desktop using the most modern technologies. 
I don't know, what does that mean? And then what does this mean to a closest versus all? Um, obviously, it's the mirrors. And so it kind of um, assumes that you kind of know what these things imply. And that's okay, you know, there if they're, they're, there's nothing in here that says it's going for the noob, for the newbie, you know, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Um, but just something to, like, you got to know what you're, what, what, who you're, what you're going for in terms of person getting, getting here. Going back to the bout. Okay, so learn more about the same page. The blog, cool. Interesting. Go back to download. Help center. This is nice. For documentation, forum. Forum looks great. Nice and clean. Get involved. Social media. Um, good stuff. So again, you don't see too much about email opt-in to get these blasts because again, um, if they write a they if they produce a blog and they they're they're hoping that you would just randomly come to it and read up on it um we can subscribe to these rss feeds but again um for the techie person they probably still use these things um for those who are not um, or casual, they're probably not going to be able to come to a blog. So you have like the hardcore fans of Solus who are going to be, you know, up and up. And then you got the not so hardcore fans of Solus who are just kind of, they like it enough to make it a daily driver or they like it enough to kind of somewhat follow it. If it's on some other like news platform, like Jupiter Broadcasting or whatever communications, um, news, social media platforms are, they follow. And they hope it will come in their stream somehow. But I'm just, again, I, I always want to bring back um, to this point of like being the master of your own domain, um, doing things that are in your control. Um, and uh, the, a, core, a core aspect of this is your email list. Um, and if you're not having an update, a, like an opt-in of some form, um, these blogs are just getting a, 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 a sliver of, of eyeballs compared to blasting out to your email list. An idea is if you could get the casual soulless um, person and then make an appealing request to uh, have them opt in, um, then you can have a chance to have an ongoing conversation of these blog updates, blog updates, blog updates. And if they read a couple, let's say last two out of the last five, then they kind of get more intrigued, they get more hooked in, they become more of a raving fan again. It's all about that pipeline and bringing them deeper, bringing them deeper, bringing them deeper. And, um, when it comes time for a donation request or any type of campaign, um, that's where you can make the ask and it's an easy ask, you know? Um, I know not every project is set up for donations uh, because of various legal reasons and some are setting up, excuse me, setting up foundations and setting up, you know, ways to do all that you know, in a, in a, in a way that's a kind of, um, healthy, safe, transparent. Um, but getting an opt-in an email opt-in is, is still something that should be done so that when you are ready to make that request, you've already been loading up on the email list. 
Um, and so, yeah, you want to be a master of your own domain. You can't do that if you're only relying on other people's platforms to showcase your your information and your news. Um, you definitely want to do that too, you know, and hope you get coverage on other podcasts and stuff like that. But it can't be the only thing. You have to have your own list, your own channels, and make your own noise with your own tribe. Make it make it work that way. Um, so there's a missed opportunity here by not having an email opt-in somewhere within the first top section. Um, the home page and about page, most visited pages. So you might want to put it on the both. And if they're on the download page and you have an opt-in, it's interesting because um, you could do a special sub segmentation of the opt-ins here. Um, that people who subscribed on the download page, you might be able to make a case that they're more interested than someone who just op who opted on the home page or about page, um, because they're like ready to pull the trigger or they have pulled the trigger on downloading an ISO to try it out. I think they can. Um, come up with something here to install today update forever updates forever they could that's a great simple short way um i wonder if they can um include this here especially when if people are converting from windows 7 and they're not, they're not, they never heard of a thing called a rolling release, you know? Um, so it's good that they say install day, update forever, but you might want to unpack that a little here down here. Um, so yeah, I like, again, I like the help center. I think that's a nice way to do it. Um, that's a definitely shining point in my book. And yeah, so if you're new to Linux, you want to check out Solus. These are some of the things you yeah, have in mind. Overall, nice website. Let me let me know what you guys think about the website. Catch you later. Peace.